welcome to the CNBC Africa special interview in which we'll be talking about the South African Investment Conference 2020 that's currently being held in Santon this week. My name is Zinati Guma. My guest is Puti Mahanyele Dabengwa, the South Africa CEO of NASPERS. Now, Puti, before we go into the important role that NASPERS does play in investment in South Africa, I just want to have a quick chat about NASPERS and how uh, you have experienced COVID-19. We do know that technology stocks have been rallying to record highs uh, all over the world. You know, this is as people were sitting, working and studying from home and trying to connect with people outside their homes and trying to find other forms of entertainment that would not, uh, that would prevent them from contracting COVID-19. And I just want to know from you as one of the largest uh, inv investors in technology, how the company has experienced COVID-19. Thank you very much, Sanati. Um, so we we have experienced COVID-19 um, with, with all its difficulties. Um, and fortunately, we have been in a position to be able to provide support, um, firstly, to South Africa, um, as well as to India, our, another market of importance to us. Um, and we, you know, through the 5 billion rand uh, support that we provided, um, we were able to bring in uh, PPE uh, with the help to South Africa and also to provide 500 million, 500 million rand to the Solidarity Fund. Another important factor for us was to ensure that our employees were safe. Um, and so from that perspective, we immediately initiated work from home even before we had the work from home um, policy uh, from the government. And so, you know, our employees were able to work from home and we made sure that those that didn't have access to computers had access to them so that they could be able to fully work uh, from home. And then another issue for us was in, in terms of businesses. We had some businesses that were able to do very well, um, businesses that were actually able to grow quite significantly through this period. But we also had businesses uh, that had difficulty. So if I look at Take A Lot here in South Africa, Take A Lot played an important role um, through Mr. Delivery, uh, Mr. D. And Mr. D played an important role in providing support to restaurants here in South Africa during that difficult period. And so it, it, it has been a, an important period for us of being able to provide support to businesses that weren't able to, to, to operate during that time. But it was good to see that South African restaurants could leverage uh, Mr. D's network to be able to continue doing business during the COVID period, notwithstanding um, the fact that it could have been a time when they wouldn't have been able to operate. And in addition to that also, we, we also saw how even through businesses that we invested in through the foundry, that you know, looking at a business such as Sweep South, uh, which employs 20,000 people um, today, um, that you know, whilst they weren't able to earn any revenues through that period, that they will, they, they continue to be able to still um, pay salaries uh, to, to 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 their employees uh, through that difficult period, um, and we were there to support them, in, to ensure that they could be able to go through this COVID period um, and still remain a sustainable business, and they have been able to. But at the same time, it was good to see that in the foundry's portfolio that looking at a business like Aerobotics, they were able to continue to grow uh, through this uh, period. FSN was able to, to continue to grow through this period. And you know, it, it's been wonderful that today we've been able to announce uh, yet another uh, transaction as well in education. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, the third uh, South Africa uh, investment conference is underway. And uh, NASPERS did make a pledge. I just want you to walk us through that and, you know, whether you are on track to fulfilling that commitment. No, thank you very much. So we made a pledge that we would commit uh, 4.6 billion rand to South Africa. And so it, it, it's been really good to see that we've been able to commit um, 1.4 billion rand towards the foundry. And the foundry is the one that is investing into businesses such as Sweep South, Aerobotics, um, FSN. Um, you know, we, we are continuing to, to invest in, into a number of businesses. So the, the foundry to date of the 1.4 billion has invested 200 million. Then there was another 3.2 billion rand that was made available to our businesses in South Africa being Take A Lot, Mr. D, um, and a number of, of businesses that, that we have here in, in South Africa, um, you know, and, and, and so 
that that capital is still being injected um, in, into uh, those businesses. And so we continue to, to inject this, this capital that we uh, committed in 2018 um, into our businesses. Um, and and, and it's, it's, it's been good uh, to have access for our businesses here in South Africa to have access to the capital. Now, South African President Sir Ramaphosa tabled the uh, reconstruction and uh, recovery plan for the, the country's economy. And I just want to know your feelings towards that and if you are seeing any opportunities and any challenges uh, based on what came out of that. Well, we, we continue to see opportunities in South Africa. South Africa, despite all the challenges and, and difficulties that are immediately um, visible to the eye, is it, it's a country of significant opportunity. And that's why NASPERS is a long-term investor. We've been in this country for more than 100 years, and, and we continue to be committed to investing in South Africa. And in that, within that period, we've, we've been able to pivot um, from being a business that was in television and media um, to, to, to being able to, to now become a 100% internet business. Um, and so, you know, this, this is, a, is a business that is very committed uh, to South Africa. And that is why when the president stood up and, and said that he needed commitment from South African companies, we were immediately available to say that we will commit 4.6 billion rand uh, to the South African economy. And we, we are actually, we have more capital over and above that that is available uh, to be invested in South Africa. Um, you know, and in fact, um, I mentioned uh, last year at the conference that um, had we not been stopped uh, by the Competitions Commission, we would have had invested um, even a few more billion into the country. But, um, you know, so, so, so that is why, for, from my perspective, certainly from our perspective, legislation is, is an important issue. We need an enabling environment in South Africa so that we can continue to invest uh, because we believe in this economy. And I mean, just quickly, Puti, um, as a big player in the technology space, what is your outlook on the tech sector in South Africa? We have seen with uh, tech stocks rallying now with COVID-19, many IPOs in uh, the USA, but not so much in South Africa. What is your outlook on the tech space uh, in the country? The tech space in South Africa holds a significant amount of promise. When you look at the SME fund, which we are a significant contributor to alongside a number of other corporates here in South Africa, you see that we are all committed to being able to grow South Africa. Um, and, and you know, over and above that, what we look at is we invest into early stage businesses. And so it, it is important to be able to support the entrepreneurs of South Africa. And I must say, South Africa has a vast majority of really, really um, committed long-term uh, founders of businesses, and we are there to make sure that they can continue to grow. Over and above that, we have NASPRIS Labs, which is an entity that is focused on providing education to young people in South Africa. And so from that perspective, we ensure that young people have access to um, the number of uh, computer, um, you know, um, internet uh, education perspectives that, that, that are required um, in, in order for, for young people to, to, to be able to, 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 be able to, to, to continue to, to do well um, in, in education. And so, you know, we, we, we make sure that we provide these digital skills to young people and, and, and we want to make sure that young people are there um, as, as, as an, and, have, and have access um, to, and, and, and we provide, in addition to all these digital skills, we provide access to uh, cloud computing, um, et cetera. And we want to make sure that we have access to young people who are educated and are players in this industry, um, in addition to the entrepreneurs whom we fund um, through, through the foundry. So it's building careers, tech careers, but also building uh, good uh, uh, internet businesses through the founders of, of businesses here in South Africa. And the promise is there. Well, thank you very much for that insight. That was my guest, Puti Mahanyele Dabemwa, the South Africa CEO of NASPERS. Thank you for watching the CNBC Africa special.